what's up everybody? I'm coming back to reshoot this video because you know the last one I messed up on. Uh, these are all the upgrades that I did to my HP Omen 30L. I just want to update everybody on the channel um, as to what upgrades I did and what I'm running with now because a lot of people like to ask, uh, what are you running graphics card wise? What do you got for the processor? And let me go a little more into detail about that for this video. So this is the HP Omen 30L. It's the middle ground between the 25L and the 45L case wise. It has the Ryzen 7 5800X and it's got the RTX 3070. Now I did a knock to a fan upgrade and my hard drives as well. I will link in the video down below, but let's take a look at how I got this thing to run decent temps. All right, you guys, no BS over here. Let's get to it. This is the 92 millimeter Noctua, it's the NFA9 uh, PWM. This is the Chromax edition, so you can get it in black. You can also do the standard colors, but it's like a beige and tan. And then this is the 120 millimeter Chromax. I think it's the NFF12, it's the static fan. You want the static fan in these HP Omens because the bottom is actually, a, there's a dust filter right here and static fan is the only thing that's gonna pull sufficient air through the bottom to push out toward the top. So where HP messed up on these PCs is they had more exhaust than they had intake. So that's what I solved. I took 120 millimeters, so now I got two pushing up toward the exhaust. I got this one pulling from the bottom and pushing out, and then this one, of course, pushes in and up. Now, I did the same thing with the, uh, this is the standard exhaust fan right here, the Cooler Master. This goes, um, pushes to the left and up. There is a little bit of a screen right here to where that heat can escape other than just being pulled up through these exhaust fans. So that's nice. Um, I have noticed big improvements in these temps, guys. But the other two mods that I did were the uh, two terabyte Mushkin SSD and my eight terabyte Seagate HDD that it, I ran that through the Satterport, broke it out of the external box. Uh, works great. So let's get into showing you guys how I split these. I'm trying to make this short and sweet because every video I watch, I got to skim through everything. So you've got a Y splitter. So system fan, you'll see it up there in the top left of the motherboard. You'll unplug that and then you'll have this Y splitter. I'll have all of this stuff linked in the description. You'll plug in this 92 millimeter facing out and up for the exhaust because heat rises. Now the other piece of the Y splitter I ran up behind the AIO and then it runs up there where that stock tab is. I pressed it in so that it didn't fall in or get caught on a fan. And then I plugged in the stock 92 millimeter. Now I think they said it's a Cooler Master. It's an HK fan. I ended up finding out it's, it's for uh, refrigeration or some shit like that. That's how they cheaped out on these builds. So now this one down low. Same, the Noctua Chrome X Y splitter. Uh, you can get the standard ones, they're cheaper. It's just I wanted the red and black. So that'll be split in with your front fan here and this bottom fan for the intakes. Your front fan is right there on the bottom right of the motherboard. So that's pretty much it, y'all. This mount, too, I double sided tape this because I could not figure out a way to bolt it in without messing with my hard drive trays. So I just double-sided taped that. Like I said, all of these parts that I used will be in the description. But with these omens, just remember, you've only got this section right here to force air. All of this is blocked off by a front plate. Unless you want to drill out a front plate, I didn't want to do that because if something happens with the warranty, I want to send it back in. I mean, this thing's running fine for now. Um, but just remember, you want all of your intake in the bottom right. Your exhaust in the top left but that's pretty much how I did it if you guys want updated on the settings that I did on Ryzen master let me know I will link that to the videos that I watched but I could also send you all of the information just let me know you can catch me on live stream or wherever um, I appreciate you guys coming to check out the video uh, make sure to make a comment below if I helped you or if you want future videos uh, regarding all this stuff but that's it for me. I had to remake this entire video because I had my pinky on the damn mic. So you guys have a good night. Peace.